Happy Sunday. She can't get here on time. I know. 422, give me a kiss, baby. I wrote to a shared future of love, friendship, and marriage. And that is what is ahead for our beautiful firstborn daughter, our only daughter, our favorite daughter, Lindsay Taylor Ehrlich, got engaged Thursday night. Elliot proposed and we are so happy. Don't I look happy? You don't look as happy. happy as you should be. I like Robert wrote on his, uh, on his um, post, here's some engaging content. I love how clever he is with his <laughs> twist on words. Um, it's really a cool thing. Um, you know, social media. Let me, let me do some. I'm not saying, I'm, I'm saying hello to all of you. Hello, 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 hello for everybody coming on. I am so grateful for you to pop in today. Uh, we are, I have to say this is a little surreal. It's a little weird. I don't know if that's the right word. It is kind of sinking in. Um, Lindsay is, has been on cloud nine or a hundred I'm not sure. She's beaming. Um, I'm sure many of you who are here on social regularly have seen the posts. First, we waited for Lindsay to post. And she said she's now engaged to her best friend. Um, and they love each other. And they are so good for each other. There is something they don't, they want to spend the rest of their lives with each other, mutually. And that really is what um, matters. And it's interesting. I spoke to someone yesterday who said it's so important that you like um, that person. And I think that that's a really important ingredient, um, liking one another, Robert. Love matters. Love is important. But, but like, that trumps love. To want to spend time with one another. So, I want you to know what's really weird. What's the problem with cloud eight? <laughs> happy Sunday. It's a very happy Sunday. Lindsay got engaged Thursday night. And uh, she's 25, Ellie's 27. She wanted to get engaged this fall. She wants to get married next fall. She is a girl who knows what she wants. I think most young women today know. They have their Pinterest boards. Well, she's um, also grown up in the world and of weddings. And we have been part of the world of weddings since... She the, was born. Um, and since we're together. Actually, we have been part well, of she's been, the world of weddings since but, we got married. Right, but her whole life... Lindsay's whole life, she whole has been life. exposed but to, you know to something, weddings. Let, but, well, let me, I got, hey, Courtney, um, I have to say, I hope we'll see you. Come to our event Thursday. Is um, Everyone who's on here should come to our yes, event. Yes, everyone, Thursday. actually. I, hello, I Judy. I don't quite know why you all haven't been yeah, to Yeah, really, everybody yet. popping on here. Please come. Especially the Livingston people. Let me do people. too, Judy. Like, what's up? Thursday night. We're bringing it to Livingston. How much more convenient can we make I it I mean, for really, you? up the road. So please I'm just telling you right now, this is the little commercial break, kind of pop up Thursday, 10, 10, 6 to 10 p.m. Tickets are on sale now. Oh, Lindsay's calling. She okay. hasn't checked her watch, I guess. Yeah, well, she doesn't realize that we can formally announce this. But let me tell you the power of, and Judy, I'd love for you to come to kind of pop up Thursday and, and see Lindsay and Elliot. Um, we'll have them on display. They will, well, Lindsay will be there and then Elliot will come after work. But <clears throat> let me tell you the coolest thing about social media. And some people may not feel this way, but we went out last night to watch a band called what? Three Mile? Three Mile Island. Three Mile Island? Yeah. And uh, they were playing at a local uh, club, ring, Ringside Pub, not club, pub. Ringside Pub, they have live music, it's awesome. We understand, if you're in Florida, you're exempt. I'm talking what? about the people who live in Livingston. Yeah. Ellen said she's in Florida. Well, I'd like Ellen come. to come. I'd really like to give Ellen a hug. <laughs> Okay, I'd really like Ellen to fly up. I understand it's a little more expensive, okay? Um, you know, if you feel like making the travel, I'll make it worth your while. Anyways, hello, Erica. We just met. She's the blogger in California. She's the CBD blogger. We're going to connect, Erica. Thank you for tuning in. We just became friends not an hour ago. 
really cool. I fresh. love the power of Facebook. So this is what I was talking about, Robert. freshest The view. power of Facebook. Yes. Okay? Let me tell you. Last night we go to this ringside pub. Now listening to the band, awesome band, Bob Calton and Justin Alpert, right? Are part of the band. Yeah, yeah. We walk in, Livingston is in the house, <laughs> okay? But so many people. But we brought Alex with us. And he's 23. Most of the people there were our age. It was crazy. From the stage. More than 23. What? <laughs> more than 23. What's more than 23? The people, the age of the people. They were our the age. They right. were 50 more than 23. They were in their 50s and 60s. And let me tell you, cool group. And Alex goes, is this like what people your age? Like, is this? I'm like, and really, what's so different with the people your yeah, age? Right. They just look younger. Right. But anyways, we go and we have friends. And my friends Sue and Jay Greenwald, who I grew up with, are there. Look at the people talking to each other, Alex. <laughs> we were, right? Look but he says, wait, I know so many people. This? You see like, this? Like what, this did is you conversation. Say? I like that. This is Lindsay conversation. Said. This is for you, Lindsay. Hey, Kathy. This is, and Kathy, Kathy said, and by the way, Lindsay, Kathy's the best cancer in the world. Well, Kathy and Cancer Sharon, right? Those are our two favorite cancers in the world. Um, let me tell you, we wish... Lindsay and Alex, a light, uh, and Lindsay and Alex, I mean, Lindsay and Elliot, oh my God, my mind is like, I have been, wait, wait, I didn't even finish one thought, I gotta finish one thought, last night, everybody kept saying congratulations, we did not have to say anything, we went to the Unico, what, what do they call it, Carnival, Carnival, Joy Score, Pam Charles, congratulations, congratulations, everybody, I mean, I got texts and, and, and calls from people that are part of my life, this is just so exhilarating, okay, for our daughter so, to be getting married. We love Lindsay and Elliot so much, and we wish them... We love Elliot a lot. Lindsay's still well, a bit Well, thank you, of a, Elliot. Thank Lindsay's you, Elliot, for taking her. still a bit of a pain in the ass. No. No, she's not. So... She's much better. But look, Lindsay, <coughs> look what Daddy's showing. So, I, I just wanted to... I wanted it when Lindsay was little. It's a little bit right? of a glass. She's a, she was. That's at the Brooklyn Diner. So honey. this was my one of my favorite all time pictures. And you got a credit. Stacy Lewis took it. Of Lindsay and Holly together in the Brooklyn Diner in Manhattan. Right? I love that picture. Right? Thank you, Stacy. But this was this was her. Oh, that's apple picking. Right? Wait a second. And this, Look at the one on the this, left. It was apple picking. This, that's what she did this weekend. Right. She used like to give me. Face? She used to give me such a hard time. Look at that little girl. When she was. Oh my God! I'm gonna cry. Pain in the ass. Stop it! Getting married. Stop it! She I went. Call her pain in the ass. She Let had. Go. So I really have to tell you all. The proposal was perfect. She, and she came here. and It was recorded. Elliot recorded it. And maybe she'll share that. I don't know. But she shared it with us, and we celebrated as soon as. She, it's so amazing technology because she got engaged Thursday night. We thought she was getting engaged this weekend when she went to um, go up uh, to New, uh, Warwick. They were going away for the weekend, someplace they went last weekend. Let me tell you, Thursday she FaceTimes me and she is beyond. Yeah. That's, I like that, Peter. Yeah. I never knew that acronym. Yeah. It's a daughter. I had one time in my life said, oh, let's have another daughter. No. No. Thank you, Monty. So, um, Ellie texted me on behalf of both of you. Did you, I want to know, Monty, did you actually eat that candy apple? Or was it just a prop for the picture? Because okay. I saw those candy apples last night. I so, was, let I me tell you, I think, yeah, one is ample. We've said yes. that. I could have yes. many more Sufficient. boys. One girl is enough. And I have to tell you, when it comes to weddings, one girl is enough, I used to go on too. every school trip with her. Oh, stop. Don't throw her under the bus now. And she would refuse to participate in anything. Why don't you talk about how she was with her socks? The seams would bother her. Okay. Um, Jason, Jason, hey. So, we've got to share our podcast. I mean, we haven't... I did. I did. A, I, you did well, on your I, own I personal share, page? Yeah, yeah, I did Did a share. you tag me? I, no. What do you mean? Oh God, I'm too busy. You have to tag me so it's on my page too for my people. Okay. So let me tell you, we have gotten, I think we, this was our all time high when it came to reactions and comments <laughs> on a post, right? It, we had, I think Lindsay's post uh -huh. was over 500. My 
post with that when we went out Friday night. So let me just give everyone a quick recap. I can't even keep up with everybody. RT, I missed you so much this morning. I am still on a high. I taught a 60 minute spin class this morning, 10 to 11. It was amazing. Vicky said she wants it every week. I would do it every week. It was so exhilarating. Oh, planning is no big deal for us, Monty, please. We planned eight weddings this yeah, year. Yeah, we planned. Right. Did you not know they kind of pop up as like planning a wedding? Yeah. Okay, I don't think you realize. Monty, feel free to call us. <laughs> we'll keep it all in check, okay? No, arguing, no. No, no, no. You don't seem to stand. We got the wedding thing down pat, okay? And it's first already of all, half planned. By the way, weddings should be a reflection of the personality of the couple. Robert is a video journalist. He has documented thousands of weddings. Hundreds, hundreds? Over a thousand okay. weddings. You've worked with amazing event planners, okay? And most of them in Manhattan, but you've been in the Hamptons. You've been in, um, oh my God, so many places on the East Coast. And you've been flown places too. But he did a Kennedy wedding. Yeah. He but, did a, a Alan Iverson. He did Geraldo Rivera. What, fifth or sixth wedding? <laughs> so, um, fifth and latest. I'm not a mom's. No, no, no. I'm not a momzilla. Tell Robert. Tell them. This is going to be joyous. You really all don't get it. You don't get it. If, if it comes to anything with weddings and details, this is going to be, for the most part, smooth sailing. So let me tell you something. Thursday night, we, Lindsay FaceTimed me. And then she, of course, they called Elliot's parents and the grandparents and my sister-in-law. And, um, and, of course, her brother. By the way, we kind of knew a little, and we did not tell even my mother or his mother or my son. Swear to you, we did not tell anyone. This was Elliot's and Lindsay's moment. So, anyways, no, you're not teasing. There's always truth and jest. So, Lindsay, I said, Lindsay, you want to come over? You know, so we can, you know, celebrate and toast you? And I stayed, I'm so tired. We were so tired. We were in the city two days. We'll in share a row. The we're going to share the wedding planning adventure. Yeah, we will share it. That's right. So it'll be inside tips That's right. so, that you yes. guys can take advantage That's of. That's a great idea because we have a lot of them. And, and also, you don't have to go for broke. The and vow here's the first inside tip. When you're shopping for stuff for a wedding, never mention the word wedding. Great tip. Hey, Iris. So just you're so planning you a party. Yes. And here's the date. Because otherwise, ching, ching, ching. When you mention wedding. <laughs> but let me tell you something. Okay, it is the wedding is really the ceremony. It is about the exchange of the vows. Okay, then the reception is called a party. All right, so make sure. And it's the first party, not the last party. And every party should be. It should reflect the personality of the couple. That's and correct. Lindsay wants rustic. And I'm not telling you anything else because that's up to her. That's but right. let me tell you, she knows. She's a bohemian, beautiful, um, you know, creative that knows what she wants. So anyways, I can't read all these comments right now because it's going too fast. But let me tell you something about Thursday. Thursday, um, and we're just so happy that Elliot is part of our family. Well, Thursday, I also invited Elliot's parents over because they were in Livingston, too. She brought over a really nice big bottle of white wine. We all shared it with Alex and his friend Jason were here. Elliot's brother, Jeremy, Sue, David, you, me, Lindsay, uh, Lindsay and Elliot. Wonderful way. And Alex. And Alex and Jason, I said, came over. Right. Okay. So then that was wonderful. We sh sh saw the engagement documented. And then... Um, Friday came and I went to get my nails done with Lindsay. She told me it was her first engagement gift. She still hadn't posted anything. Then I said, please don't wait till Sunday. She posted. We made plans for all of us to go out. Elliot's parents, us and Alex. Jeremy was not available. And Elliot's other brother, Andrew's down in the DC area. Otherwise, of course, we would have loved to have him. And he didn't know yet. I'm not even sure when they found that out. Less words. What less words? Use less words. Okay, all I know is that we had a wonderful celebration dinner. There were so many glasses on the table. I had Alex take a photograph. We had the champagne glass, the wine glass, the water I glass. I guess the less words More thing words. ain't working Well, let me out, tell you, huh? so we celebrated Friday night, delicious Italian food in Verona, and then they went away for the weekend, and they had such a good time together, and that's what matters. And I have been on cloud nine because people have been so wonderful. And I thank you. I thank every single person who sent, who commented, or texted, or called. I value that. I did. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It does not mean you're invited to the wedding. <laughs> yeah. Because tip number one. Don't be, don't one, be guilty for that. 
Tip uh, number, tip number one. one. You control the budget by controlling the guest list. Thank you, Robert. And we that's that's the way it is. So, so you don't know, let anyone be insulted. So it's really about those that are gonna know Lindsay and Elliot and then and then we will have that discussion as well. Because Unless it's you give yours, really big mine, gifts, and ours. And then we'll invite you. Oh, good idea. Right. That's true. So let us know. If you'd like to give a big gift, <laughs> please let us know, okay? And that's when you know we're kidding. And there's no truth in that jest. We are not kidding. So we do have friends I that... never get insulted if I didn't get invited anywhere. I don't know what goes on behind the scenes and who they can invite, who they can, if they really like me, if they really don't. Can I Ultimately, ask you, can you please just talk matter. about... Can you just say a few things about Lindsay and Elliot right now? I think they're perfect together. I think they complement each other, and I think what's best, the best thing is they like hanging out with one another. They went, Just doing regular stuff. They went rock climbing when they got home from Warwick. They went apple picking. They got ice cream. They had, they, they watched Wheel of Fortune. They were in a nice place that they liked to be in, and then they came home. They're going out with friends tonight to celebrate, um, which is so fantastic. And, you know, I just... I am, as you can tell, so happy. So thank you, everybody, for sharing in our joy. What's up, for, David? For allowing us to quell a little. That's Yiddish for an outpour of... Gush. Gush. Right, kvel. Well, thank you. You see, you always know how to complete me, baby. Listen, we're married 27 and a half years it was like 28. And talking about that, happy anniversary to Lynn and Jeff Sternstein. They are married 28 years today. They got married in 91. We got married in 92. And Lindsay wants an October wedding. So I hope you're having the best day full of love and... Um, Laughter. And fun. And good health, most importantly, all right? But we are really blessed with some beautiful people that yeah. we have met in we're really all happy. areas of our lives. And we wanted... We're going to we're gonna force Lindsay to listen to all 200 plus episodes of our wedding podcasts that we've I'm going to share a proposal. Can I share a proposal on Facebook? Whose proposal? Ours. You have that video uploaded? Oh, I do. Really? Remember I transferred it. I do. Why don't you tell everyone what you did? Go ahead. Just tell everyone what you did for me. What do you mean? Lindsay will share her own proposal story. No, I'll although I'll share it. It was a Thursday night. Thank you, much Ellen. Like, uh, much like Lindsay and Elliot. And she was in her workout clothes and I was in my sweatpants. It was a nothing special Thursday night. But I didn't know and she didn't we know. Were, right. We both didn't know. Going to, although we had talked, obviously. No, no, no. We and, knew we'd get engaged. Both planned, me and Lindsay But you knew. didn't know when I was going to nope, do it. And I you thought know. it was going to be And by like, the way, I'm going to show you, you one know, thing. This, because this, this is my thing. This is my favorite um, engagement and thing. I've shown this before. I'm going to mention my friend Stacy again. Okay, so I can't believe we don't celebrate this day regularly because September second. You have it in your excuse me in your planner. Well, no, now I I know from the bottle. September second is Alex. Walk around with the bottle. September second is Alex's birthday. September third is Mindy and Jeff's anniversary. September 5th, 1991, which it says right here on the bottle. Let me do it. Okay. Stacy painted this wine bottle with Holly and Robert, September 5th, engaged, and show our caricatures. And I uh, love this bottle. I adore this bottle. And we've had it for 20, and my, she almost put 20 my years. my face and head on the, on the top yeah. of the bottle. Mazel tov. You, like you know what you look like in Fiddle like on the a, Roof. Do, do, do. You know, like you're ready to go into the, um, what do you it's call the it? Puppet. What do you do that Russian dance? What no, is it? You see, you got a full face oh, and everything, and no. I got a little well, you know. head, little Well, look thing. how beautiful. Come on. Who else do you know that has this? I don't know. Maybe she yeah, should I make one real, for Lindsay and Elliot. You think she'd make that for Lindsay and Elliot? Stacy. What'd you say? You didn't realize no. that? I might have like a little cylindrical head. All right. So, hey, Abby, stay tuned for more wedding tips. Stay tuned for more. <coughs> I think we should go to, well, we just missed. What? 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 Excuse me, this bridal market. But we should go. Uh, oh, you're right. We should go in April. We should go in April. We should. Just and it's her birthday. Halibut. That'd be fun. Just for the Halloween. And just so you know, everybody, the grandparents are, are like so excited and so happy. And, um, you know, we just had our nieces, Erica's wedding, July 4th. And we do have a wedding coming up. Our friend Gail's um Daughter Heather is getting married Saturday night at Gail the same place. Gail and Jay. Right, right. She's just daughter Heather. Je it's just a Gail. I'm sorry. It's not only Gail's daughter. How, how you know, children do come from two people. 
Um, Generally. So um, we are going to be going to their daughter's wedding, and it should be fun and and ends. And I'm looking forward. Should we to take an Uber? Not oh, maybe. Um, I'm glad we'll see Sue and Jay again, and we're going to see others. And um, others from town, because they live in town. Yeah, it'll be a local... Uh, and they were our Manuel friends, crowd. and that was cool. <laughs> and we saw Manuel friends last night, Stephen and Diana to bank it. Oh, we my did. God. And, and even Alex... And I saw my buddy Michael Berman from high school. Right. And we met Randy and Jay St- Stiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, how Stileman. cool... Stileman. Stileman, I'm sorry. Right, he calls him that for short. Right. Oh, my God. Alex's big uh, fraternity brother slash... Big brother. Slash brother. So... It was really, this has been an amazing weekend. It has been really hard to work. Another Staten Island friend, Eileen, hello. Oh, wait, and you have a friend. Did you have to say congratulations to Sue? Michelle's daughter got engaged. Yes, yes. Michelle from high school also. Right, beautiful. Another, another engagement what this a, weekend. Right, it was so awesome. <clears throat> and then there was another she one, too. She already has a grandchild. Oh, and Johanna's cousin got engaged? Yeah. And someone else. It was like, great, what a perfect... I don't know. It's and you know what? Wait. Season. And this is the last thing I want to say. Yes. No, no, no. Oh, go. No, no. That Sue brought this up. Elliot's mom. Mm-hmm. What a wonderful way to start the new year. Yep. So let me tell you, we are right now in between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. And this has been like the best New Year start news. So thank you all for engaging with us, for this engagement of our <laughs> daughter, Lindsay. And our son to be, Elliot, um, we're just so grateful that they are so together, like you and me. And they got lots of years to go, but that's good. It's all about, you know, I don't know, we're so lucky. Our parents are married over 50 plus years. You know, it's just we're lucky. So thank you. Uh, And have a wonderful rest of the day.